Hey guys, it's Aaliyah. I'm back with another video. I know it's been forever, but I promise y'all I'm back. I'm back. I'm about to be consistent again, period. So stay tuned because this video is on why I no longer have my nipple piercings. It's very sad. I loved them. But yeah, so stay tuned. If you guys watched my previous video on me getting my nipples pierced, I was really excited because if you guys watched it, I wanted my nipples pierced for years and then I finally did it. Like I wanted them before I was 18, but you know, you couldn't, you can't do it till you're 18. So then I said I was going to do it on my 18th birthday and I didn't do it. I chickened out like a fucking bitch, but, <laughs> and then when I finally had the guts to do it, this dude that I really liked didn't like nipple piercings and then i was just like okay well i'm not gonna get them and i know it's dumb but you know anyways so then at the ripe age of 21 i decided to finally get my nipples pierced and i was very excited i loved them when um when i tell you the pain was not that bad like for some reason in my head i just thought about this being this like super painful experience like this is going to be worse than childbirth like I swore up and down this was going to be the worst pain of my life like the day before like I had to gather myself I had to pray and just everything but it was not that serious <laughs> it was really not that serious it was about it was probably about a seven um my leg tattoo hurt worse obviously but so I don't understand. And that didn't hurt to me. Yeah. I have a really so, um, yeah, I finally did it. Um, I loved it. Like, oh, my God. Like, I went home and immediately took pictures. And I made the little video. And then I was just really excited. I took care of them. Like, I cleaned them every day. Like, um, I fucking twisted them. Because I tell you, you need to twist them, like, consistently. And so I was twisting them and, like, I was cleaning them every single day. Now, they probably, I think they might have said to clean them twice a day, but I was cleaning them once a day, I think. And then, but they were fine. Like, I actually wasn't getting no crust. They always say, like, you're gonna get crust on them. Like, they're gonna, they're gonna be crusty in the beginning, but I didn't get any crust. Like, they were perfect. They no longer hurt after the first day. That was it. Like, I forgot they were there. Like, I was, I went immediately back to sleeping on my stomach, maybe, like, a day later. When I tell you guys, the pain was really not all that. It really was not all that. And they were super cute. So, I did really good for about three weeks. And then, one day, I took off my bra, about to get in the shower. And the ball on my left boob, on the left side was really loose and it fell off so me thinking that like i got this like i tried to screw it back on like myself yeah i screwed it back on went on by my day took a shower brought back on whatever it went on by my day about Two days later, I got in the tub. By the time I got out of the tub, the ball was gone and the piercing the, the piercing was now halfway through my boob. Like just like the is just hanging out. Like it's basically halfway through my boob, just hanging out, and the ball is completely gone. When I tell you guys this was the worst pain of my life, and mind you, there was soap in the tub, so the soap was getting into the hole in my nipple when i tell you guys this pain was unmatched this hurt what this hurt way worse than getting them done originally like when i tell you this pain was no joke i was like it was like a stingy burny pain like oh like you guys know what i mean like that stingy burny pain like oh so i immediately just took that crap out i was like oh no like i'm not about to try to twist it back I'm like no so um it was a Saturday. I checked the time and I was like, oh, they should be open. I drove all the way down to um, the piercing spot and they were not open. 
on a Saturday, I guess. So I was like, damn, because you know, everyone says like your nipple piercings are not something that you keep out, like, especially when they're like healing, like they will close literally like this. And I, I probably thought they were like overreacting a little bit. I was like, it lasts a day. Like what? But no, 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 no. They're not joking when they say you need to hurry up and put that shit back in. Like you need to hurry up and put that shit back in. Like this is no joke, especially if they're only three weeks old. I had to wait till Monday. By Monday, they, it was already shut all the way. Like all the way, all the way. She tried to put the, she tried to put um, a piercing, like a, a ring in there and it would not budge. She was like, oh yeah, it's closed. So I was like, okay, well just pierce me again because I was that girl that always said like, it looks stupid for girls to have one nipple piercing and one not. So I really didn't want to be that girl. So I was like, you can go ahead and just re-pierce it, whatever. So she re-pierced it, um, everything was cool. I went home, everything was cool. About a week later, I was laying on my stomach and the nipple was hurting really bad. And I was like, what? Like, I haven't had no problems with it. Like I haven't, like when I got in the shower, the tub and the soap, nothing. Like no, when it got in there, it was nothing. Like you could tell like it was nothing wrong with it. I was like, oh no, like, I was like, this can't be pain for me just laying on it. Like, this is some other shit. So I went to the bathroom and I noticed that it was like, it was literally smushed. It was being, it was being smothered by like my nipple. And I was like, what? Like, what the hell? Like, when did this happen? And this is hurting hella bad. So I was like, uh okay then i tried to like and when i like pushed it you could see like I, you couldn't even see the ball you guys i pushed it you could see the ball and then right when i let it go you can't see the ball anymore like it was that smushed in and i was like what so i like i was like oh no this pain is too bad so i was like i looked at the day and it was saturday again and i was like they're not going to be open which I probably still should have tried. But I was like, at this point, I was like, I'm done. I don't want to re pierce. I'm done. Just take this motherfucker out. I just want this shit out. Like, I don't care. Like, fuck all that cute shit. Like, fuck all that cute shit. Break it down for that loop, bitch. <laughs> yes. Like, I was, <laughs> I was literally saying, like, fuck all this cute shit. I don't care. Like, take this shit out of my nipple because I, that's one thing I'm not going to play about. Like, it's about my nipple. Like, no like that's a serious ass spot like why would i be playing with that like that is very serious like it's not my ears it's my fucking nipple so um they were not open so i pretty much was like i'm gonna just try to take this out myself why would i tell you guys um she put the ball like extra tight trying to make sure like it wouldn't fall out like last time but it was so tight, I could not get the ring off. Like, I could not get the ring out of my nipple. I was like, what the hell? What did she do? Like, did she glue this motherfucker? Like, I was just like, <laughs> why is this not coming out? Literally, all day long, I was trying to get it out. I was getting to the point where I was having anxiety attack. I tried to go to sleep. I couldn't sleep with this in my nipple because I thought, like, it was going to get, like, stuck in there. I was going to have to get surgery because, actually, that's what happened to my ear when I was like three or four, my earring got stuck in my ear and I had to go get surgery. And I remember I had to sing Dragon Tales because <laughs> they told me, they said, what's your, like, what's your favorite theme song right now? And I was like, Dragon Tales. So I had to sing Dragon, don't ask me why I remember this. I had to sing Dragon Tales, Dragon Tales, like literally as they're like doing surgery on my damn ear. And then I literally stopped singing and i was screaming like okay this i was like i'm not about to do this again okay i know that that haunted me for the rest of my life like i don't want to have to do that same shit with my nipple like no so <laughs> so um i was like no like let me i'm trying to get this out so i stayed up all night i couldn't sleep i couldn't eat i was like i need this shit out like this is no joke it took me forever. Like literally when I tell you I must have slept for only one hour and I woke up at three in the morning. I went to sleep at like two and I woke up at like three and I was like, I cannot go back to sleep without this out. So I looked up on Google and they were saying like, you need a glove. Like if it, if it doesn't come out, like you need like a glove. So 
I was like, damn, I don't have no gloves. So what I did was I grabbed a, um, a napkin or like a tissue, one of the two, to, um, to make it where like my, cause you know, my fingers are slippery. So I, to make it like not slippery. Sorry if you guys can hear that in the background. Like they're, okay. So where was I? So, okay. So, um, I was like, fuck, let me just get a tissue or a napkin or something. Maybe I can get it like, so I can get it sturdy enough to like get it out. Lo and behold, that worked at like three something in the morning. I finally got that shit out. When I took it out, I had a big ass hole in my nipple and I was like kind of nervous because I was like, uh, I hope this don't stay and I don't have an actual hole in my nipple. Like the hole was hella big from the ball being smushed in there. So um, I was like, okay, well, hopefully that'll go away. Literally the next day when I woke up, it was gone. Like it closed that fast. Like I, there was no hole anymore. So I was like, okay, cool. And then after that, I was like, I'm cool. I don't want to get it repaired. I'm very much done. Like, it's, this is a sign for me that it's not meant for me. It's not meant for me. So I kept the other one, the other nipple piercing in because I thought, like, I'm going to just give it, like, a month and I'm going to go get it, the other one repairs. Like, I just don't want to have to go through the pain of getting this one repierced if I don't have to. Like, it's fine. Like, nothing was wrong with it. It was still cute. Like, nothing happened with it. But I was just like, after a while, I was just like, like after like two, I went like two weeks with having just one. And then after a while, I was just like, this just looks stupid. And I don't know, honestly don't know when I'm going to get it repaired. So I'm just like, I just took the other one out. So yeah, if you have big boobs like me, I would suggest you require them to give you a long bar. Because honestly, she should have given me a long bar in the beginning, but... She gave me the long bar when I when I got it re-pierced. And I wouldn't have even had to probably go through any of this if she would have gave me a longer bar. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Like, Or it could have just been that she didn't screw the, the first ball in. I think, that, I think that's probably the real thing. Like, she didn't screw the ball on tight enough the first time. Because if she did, I would have never gone into any of this. If the shit didn't come out in the first place, I wouldn't have ever had to get it re-pierced and go through that swelling and that... that stuck shit if she would have just screwed the ball on tighter in the first place so but yeah um another thing is is like if I ever would get my nipples pierced again which I will but it will be like in a minute like I'm trying to like eh, it probably won't be till like next year but if I do ever get them re-pierced um um, well, when I get them repierced, I'm going to go to Zebra, which is in Berkeley. If you guys don't know where that's, that is, uh, I'm from the Bay Area, um, California, Bay Area, Northern California. And um, you guys know Cal Berkeley, the school. So you got everybody knows that school. So it's in Berkeley and um, it's called Zebra. And they're they're on the expensive side, but they are real. Like they they, they give you real work like they give you real um quality stuff they give you quality piercings quality tattoos the place i got my nipples pierced at i i'm not gonna say they're bad but i would only go to them for like a nose piercing a earring ear piercings belly piercings like because they did my belly maybe like two weeks before my boobs and it's still cute like it's still perfect didn't get infected didn't fall out nothing so i would suggest like that place just be for regular stuff if you want to get like nipple piercings and stuff like that i would make sure you guys go to a real quality like i don't care like you guys be like it's too expensive like stop stop like just go to the quality place that's gonna give you the real shit because yeah you're paying more but it's gonna last so instead of paying less and then you have to keep getting it repierced because they're not doing it right. So I will go to them next time I get my nipples pierced, but that won't be probably till like a year because I'm kind of over it right now and I don't even want to play like that because I love my boobs and I don't want them to be ugly fucking with them. So, but that is it, you guys. Um... I know I haven't been making YouTube videos like often, like I should, like it's been six months, but I promise you guys I'm back. I'm back on my bully. Like I swear I'm, I'm back. I'm back. Um, next month I'm going to Atlanta. So I'm going to do it in Atlanta. I'm going to do an Atlanta vlog. So 
stay tuned for that. And then like a week later, I'm going to do a Vegas vlog. And those are going to be really fun. I'm really excited for those. And yeah, I just want to make sure I keep going like and not stop because YouTube can be very discouraging. Okay. Like it's a lot of work, like editing this, these videos. It's a lot of work. So, but I really want to do this. So thank you guys for watching. I love you guys and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.